You're watching Fox 40 News at 9. Forget the expensive treatments and serums. Let's get back to basics, shall we? We're talking with a doctor about the secrets to younger looking skin. That's next. We are dealing with some sunny, beautiful weather. So, of course, as the sunshine comes and the hot weather comes, we want to make sure we're taking care of our skin. And there's ways to keep us looking younger. So we've seen the gadgets and the gimmicks and all the expensive serums that claim to rejuvenate our skin. But what really works when it comes to keeping our skin youthful and healthy? Dr. Rebecca Hunton is an integrative and family medicine specialist here with old secrets for younger looking skin. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so when much. For I... being... Oh, yes, go ahead. I was going to say, I, I, when I was about 30, I looked at my grandma and I noticed that she had this amazing skin. I think it was the first time I really looked at her. <laughs> and that sent me straight to her vanity to say, what are the secrets, grandma? And that's where these are going to come from. The first one we looked at was her makeup. Now, she was loyal to a brand, and when I looked at the ingredients, it had zinc oxide in it. And I was already using zinc oxide for my baby's bum. You know, <laughs> it's the diaper rash. And nice. I wasn't going to invest in the expensive makeup. But I started mixing a little bit of it on the back of my hand with my other products and mm -hmm. moisturizer. And I've been doing that since I was in my early 30s. That is a good tip because I have plenty. I have a 16-month-old. I have plenty of diaper rash cream. I might use some of that daily now. All right, so what's next? What can we do? So she shared with me that when she was young, she and her sisters would make scrubs. You know, when they were younger, they used salt and oil, and it was great for blemishes, and she said, and especially around the monthly time. <laughs> and it dries the skin out, exfoliates. Now, as she got a little bit older, more in my age group, she swapped out the salt for the sugar because sugar is more gentle for dry and um, aging skin. So I brought, this is my brown sugar scrub. I blended it with a little bit of almond oil this time. Usually mm -hmm. I use coconut oil, but coconut oil gets solid at yeah. room temperature, so you have to put it in your hand and warm it up. But it's great at giving your face a glow. That's a great Not idea, and that's something that we all have at home. All right, so you have cleansing as well as creaming. What are those two things? <laughs> well, the cleansing, she said, never go to bed with a dirty face. You know, <laughs> in her age group and in that time frame, ivory soap was her, her mm -hmm. go-to, and it's mine too. Okay. Now, creaming, I was like, Grandma, creaming? <laughs> and she, it turns out, if you ever watch The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, that first episode where she hops out of bed, runs to the bathroom, and does all her routine mm -hmm. and comes back to bed with her face all with white paste on it. Yeah. That was my grandma. It made me laugh out loud for real with the ponds. Nice. Now, it really isn't about ponds. It's about moisturizing. Mm -hmm. And back to that baby with the diaper rash, the pediatric dermatologist had also recommended Cetaphil at the time. So I've used this for 20 some years, mixing it with my zinc oxide on the back of my <laughs> hand to put on my face. And it's been amazing and not expensive. All right. I love how every product you gave us, we either already have at home or they're super easy to get at any store or drugstore. And we can definitely do it. And she, you're almost 60 years old. And look how perfect you are. You have great skin. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm wearing that zinc oxide right now. So it does give yourself a little bit of a glow. All right. I, I love it. I'm going to try the zinc. I mean, I have plenty of diaper rash cream for my son. I'm going to try it. I will let you know how that works out for me. I, I'm a little scared, but I can do it. <laughs> and I see you. You look great. Thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Rebecca Hunton, and we will see you soon. Thank you. Have a great day. All right.